Hello and welcome. Please pause this video, read the problem, and try it on your own. Okay, let's start by reading this problem together. It says that the owner of a small computer repair business has one employee who is paid an hourly rate of $22. So as soon as I come across information like that, I like to personally write it down. So we have $22 per hour. Okay. The owner estimates his weekly profit, so I know we're looking at the weekly profit, right? And profit is the revenue you make minus your expenses. In other words, profit equals revenue, all of the money coming in, minus the expenses you use to get that money. So, for example, if you're making a product, right, you might sell uh, three of them at $2 each, and you might make $6. But if it costs you $2 to make those products, you would subtract the $2 from your revenue. And in total, then your profit will be, of course, $4, right? Because you make, um, the profit is the money after expenses, right? Okay, so here, P of X, P for profit, X is probably going to be the hours we're working, equals 8,600 minus 2X excuse me, 22x. In this function, what does x represent? Okay, oh, well, let's see what this logically for a moment. We're looking at the profit that the owner is making, right? This is uh, the owner's profit, right? So what is the only expense that we're being, um, that's being discussed in this problem? Well, that's this. That's the wage that the workers are making per hour. So you can think that every week, the owner of this company is going to be making 8,600, right? So this is the revenue. And here, we're subtracting out the um, hourly wage, right, for the one employee. So what does that mean? Well, that means that X would have to represent the number of hours, right, that the employee is working. So if you're not convinced of this, right, this is the hours the employee works. Employee works. So if you're not convinced of this, or if you're thinking, mm, I'm not really sure, you can model this quickly by substituting values in for x to see what's going on. So for example, we could say, what is p of 1? Well, that would be 8,600 minus 22 times 1, or minus 22. And that equals 8,578, I believe, right? So here we can see that if we substitute 1 in for x, we lose one group of 22. If we substitute in 2 for x, we have 8,600 minus 22 times 2, or minus 44, which is 8,500, and then 22 from 78 is 56, right? Um, so here we can see that we're plugging in 2 for x, we subtract two groups of 22. In other words, as we keep doing this, we see that x is always being multiplied by 22, which corresponds to this idea that the employee is making $22 an hour. And that amount, the amount you're paying out to your employee, uh, takes away from the profit for the owner, right? So here, if we look at our choices here, um, it's the hours worked uh, per week, right, by the employer. All right, hope this helped.